Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing my very first shop my stash slash refreshing my everyday makeup drawer series, I guess. I'm really excited to do this video today. I've actually been like looking forward to filming this and doing this with you guys. I love watching these videos, so I hope that you do too. It's just so fun to see what is in people's collection and what products are they reaching for. So as you know, this year I'm finally focusing on using the makeup products in my collection. And one of the reasons why I think I wasn't using the products that I have is because I didn't have any kind of system in place to rotate through my products and use the things that I already have. So I would keep like my favorite things in my desk right in front of me and all the new products I get But I would never reach for all of the stuff behind me in these drawers So to put some kind of system in place for me I'm gonna be doing a monthly refreshing my everyday makeup drawer and I'm gonna walk you through that entire process today So in these videos I'm gonna show you the products that I've been using for the past four weeks or so And then we're gonna put them back into my collection and grab some new ones to try for the next month And then I'll do a little tutorial with those products. I really like the way that Sarah Rose does these videos so this format is inspired by her. I really think that this system is going to work for me and I'm super excited about this. So if you guys want to do something like this, I hope you try it too. So I already kind of did like my first rotation of products off camera just because I wanted to like ease myself into it without filming. So I'm going to show you what I've been using. Also my new drawer organization because I'm super excited about it. I feel like I have finally mastered my drawer organizing. All right, so I'm going to show you my drawers, my new organizing, what I've been using, and then we'll pick out some new products. So one thing I've made a point to do is to keep less makeup on top of my desk like this used to be full of like lipsticks and a bunch of other shit now I just have like my palettes my new stuff right there and my brushes and I just love how simple this looks okay let me quickly talk about these organizers because I'm just obsessed with them so these are all from Amazon I had drawer organizers before but they were all just kind of like mismatched so I just wanted like a complete collection that looks nice and clean and what I love about these I have little rubber stoppers on the bottom so they're not gonna slide in these drawers because in these Ikea drawer stuff will slide around so easily so I love that they don't move and this just looks so nice and clean to me I love it and one thing I've been trying to do too is to not like stack up products on top of each other I really want to make sure I have everything laid out flat so I can actually see what is in my drawers so just quickly going over my organizing here these three little containers are all of my project pan items so they're right in front of my face I know exactly where they are and those live right here they do not move you've already seen all these items I'll link that video down below if you want to see it so I'm not going to talk about these and then the rest of the products in here are products that like live permanently in my collection so my powders my RCMA powder my elf powder my Kosas powders so right here are my mascaras I have like my say primer my setting sprays my Sigma lip mask like these live here permanently I have some liners right here that I just always reach for so this drawer is project pan and permanent stuff that I use like every single day can we see me? I think so. Okay, then this drawer looks amazing. I wish I had a before picture to show you because this drawer was like all over the place, but this looks perfect to me. Now this drawer is all of my stuff I've been using recently, stuff that I will rotate throughout my collection. So these are all of my shop my stash items I've been using for the past four weeks or so. And I have all my lashes right here and then any like tools over here. Okay, so let's quickly go over these products that I've been using for the past four weeks. So first I have the Rare Beauty Foundation. I've just been wanting to try this more and really figure out my opinion on it. And honestly, I don't have much feelings about this foundation. Like, it doesn't look terrible on my skin, but it also doesn't look amazing. It just kind of like lives right in the middle for me, so I'm excited to grab something else. I've also been using the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, and I've been loving this for spot concealing my face. You guys know I really like my NARS Soft Matte Concealer for that but this has been working great for that too. It really is a good full coverage concealer. I've also been using the Rare Beauty Pore Filling Primer and I literally just found out the other day that they have two primers. I thought they only had one primer and I thought this was it, but they also have an illuminating one, which I would actually prefer over this. I think I bought this when it came out. I really don't know, but I honestly don't love pore filling primers. I prefer more of a hydrating, illuminating one. So I think it looks nice. I like the texture of it, but it doesn't really do much for me. I've been trying to get some more use out of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I kind of use this more as like a little bit of a liquid highlight if I want even more of a cream highlight. I like this product, but I think I have another one I want to try. Ugh. Next is the Merit Beauty Cream Bronzer Stick. I honestly don't think I like this. I tried to use this a couple times and it just doesn't do much for me. The color is pretty pale and I just think it's too balmy for me. And I kind of feel the same way about this with their cream blushes. Like they're just too 
sheer for me. So I honestly don't think I like this. I might end up decluttering this at some point. And that's kind of the point of these videos is to actually use my products and figure out, do I want to keep this in my collection? Probably not. Next is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. Look at this pan, guys. Oh my gosh. I hit pan on this like earlier this month and I was so dang excited. I told my boyfriend, I was like, oh my gosh, I hit pan. <laughs> I clearly love this cream bronzer. I love the texture, the color, like everything about this is amazing. So I have like a newfound love for this. And then I've been trying to use this Tower 28 cream blush in Power Hour. This was living in my downstairs bathroom for a while. So I wanted to bring it up here. I only used it a few times. I just don't think I'm really into this color right now. So I'm excited to grab something else now. And then I have a couple lip products here. I bought this Tower 28 lip gloss. What is the shade? Oh, pistachio uh, about like a month or two ago. And this is just such a beautiful pink color. Watch this for you. Like I really like the texture of these lip glosses. It is so pretty. I also have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream in Soft Rose right here. I'm so obsessed with these juicy lip creams, like all versions of these I really love. And this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Rose. I don't really remember putting both of these into my drawer, but these are both rose. So pretty. I love these. And then I've also been trying to use my Natasha Denona Lip Pencil in Natasha. And again, there's such a pretty, creamy, pinky lip liner. I've really been liking this. And then moving over here for my loose powder, I've been using this Sigma Soft Focus in Vanilla Bean. And I have really been liking this. I kind of just use this to set like around my nose and kind of where I have larger pores. And I think it does a great job. I've actually used a lot of this. This used to be like overflowing with powder, but now it's kind of minimal. I will be grabbing a different loose powder for this round of products, but I'm happy to know that I truly do like this one. I've also really been enjoying the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector. And I've been using it more as a powder bronzer and I think it does a great job. I've really been liking this. And then for a light press powder, I've been using this Urban Decay Stay Naked get the fix in 20 cp i actually use this a lot in my eyeshadow looks when i need like a skin tone colored shadow or powder to blend so that's what i kind of use this for i also use it to kind of lighten up my face in any area since it is kind of lighter than my skin tone and then i did have this kat von d blush in fox glove in here but honestly i think i only used it like once um i'm just like not feeling this color right now but i do like this formula and then lastly i have the balm will powder blush quad i have only been using this shade out of the blush quad because I don't really have anything like this so I kind of wish I knew how I felt about these shades but I just honestly never reached for those all right so let's put all these products back in my collection and grab some new ones all right let's start with foundation so I put back my rare beauty one I have my other hydromaniac in my project pan right now I think I'm gonna pull out the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer the oil-free formula I honestly don't know if I like this one or not, which is why I'm gonna put it in my shop my stash. This is the shade 2W1, which I'm not sure if it's too light or too dark for me. So I'm also gonna pull out my Fenty Beauty Ease Drops to mix with that, whether I need to make it lighter or darker. I also am pale today, so I will need a lighter shade. For concealers, I did also just buy the Urban Decay Quickie one, so I am using that one quite a bit. I think I want to grab up my Sephora Best Skin Ever and kind of see how that compares to the Quickie. Um, obviously not compare them today, but this is like my favorite concealer right now, so I'm gonna bring this one back in. So for bronzer, like I said, I was loving the Makeup by Mario one, so I think I want to try out this House Labs one again. Again, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this bronzer, so let's add this one in. I do have my powder highlighters back here. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put these in my collection, so I'm I'm not going to touch any of those right now because I am using my Rare Beauty ones. Okay, this drawer is a little messier than I thought. I'm going to pull out the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I need to get more use out of this and really finalize my thoughts on this one. I feel like that's kind of the theme of this Shop My Sash. Like, do I really like this product? Let's find out. Okay, then I said I was loving the Sigma Loose Powder, so I'm going to grab out a different loose powder. I'm going to go for this Hourglass one. I've had this for a while in my collection, so I want to try this one out. And then for a light pressed powder, I'm going to go back to my Charlotte Tilbury shade number one. I love this powder. Now this drawer's eyeliners, eye primers. I don't really like grab for this stuff. Maybe for funsies, we should grab one of these Kaja stacks. Sorry, the light's purple. You have my background light on right now. I'm going to pull out this one in the shade Velvet Dream. 
And then this trio is all matte, so maybe let's grab this Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in Space Cowboy. I feel like everyone's using this right now, so I want to too. Ah yes, my favorite drawer, all of my cream products. Let's go, ooh, well I am using, I'm actually not gonna pull out any cream bronzer because I am still using the Makeup Revolution one I just bought and I've been loving this one. And I also have the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer that I'm still using, so I'm not gonna pick out anything from here because I'm gonna use these. All right, but for cream blush, I think I wanna grab this Milani one. Again, this is pretty new to my collection. This is the shade Nude Kiss. It's so pretty. And then I'm also going to pull out a liquid highlighter. This is the Rare Beauty one. The shade is Enlightened. So I do have a powder version of this as well, but I need to get some more use out of this. So I'm going to pop this into my shop, my stash. All right, we have made it down to powder blushes. I'm actually going to grab one of the Sigma ones and specifically one that I haven't used a lot of because I really need to see which of these I like, you know? I'm gonna turn off my purple light so you can see these shades better. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay, this is nearly wild. I've used Tiger Lily quite a bit, so I'm not gonna pick that one because I wanna pick something that's newish to me. This is Berry Love. That's kind of pretty. This is Courtney Rosa. I've used that many, many times. This is Bronze Star, kind of a deeper one. And Sunset Kiss, kind of more of like a peachy coral. I think I'm gonna go with this Berry Love one. And this one is an all matte blush. Okay, can we just like sit on the floor and talk really quick? Ignore my like pile of garbage right there. So I didn't grab any eyeshadow palettes because I'm struggling with a system for eyeshadow palettes because I have so freaking many and I keep all of like my current ones in this cabinet. Honestly, a lot of the time, I'm just not in the mood to play with eyeshadow. I'd rather just slap on like a quick shimmer, a little brown in my crease and call it good because that's what I really like to wear on a daily basis. I'm not always playing with color like you guys might think I do. And I don't really want to like force myself to do my eyeshadow if I'm not in the mood to do it. But what I have been doing is that I keep the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette on my table with me at all times. And this isn't like a pan that palette kind of thing, but if I want to grab some eyeshadows I know I love, I grab for this palette. So I guess this kind of has been like my go to palette. It's just easy for me to use. I love all the shades in here. And if I do want to play with some colors, I have some options in here to do that with. But this also makes me kind of sad because I also feel like I'm not getting use out of my eyeshadow collection. So if you have any like recommendations for that, let me know. I know some people do like a deck of palettes. They'll like pick a card or like pick a popsicle stick with which palette to use, but that just doesn't excite me. And that feels like I'd be forcing myself to use it. So Hmm, I don't know. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. All right, let's dive into these products that I picked out and do a little face of makeup. I did just quickly do my brows off camera and I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. First of all, this product is so dark. This is the shade two. Are you serious? And that's why I'm trying to use it and test it out today and see how I really feel about this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna draw this on. Kind of as if I was using like my Say Glowy Super Gel. And let's just pat this in, I guess. So I definitely think that made my skin like glowier for sure. And it definitely blends out to be not that dark. But the thing I like about the Say one is that like when I rub it on, I can like feel the hydration and I feel like I don't feel it with this. It's a lot of feelings. Um, also my lips are feeling dry, so I'm gonna pop on my lip mask. All right, then for foundation, I picked out the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Let me check the shade really quick. I'm also gonna shake this up. This product is really full. I really haven't used much of it. So it's a shade 2W1. Uh, that might be a little dark, but I'm gonna make it work. I think with this, I'm gonna try a brush for applying it. So I'm using my Sigma F76. And what I've been doing, even like with my Urban Decay Hydromaniac, is I like sloppily apply it with the brush and then use my sponge to really set it into my skin. Yeah, this is a little dark for me. I did just scrub off my tan, but it's fine. I'm not really going anywhere today. Okay, I'm just gonna like bring that down my neck and then go back in with my sponge. I feel like my skin on camera is looking better than it does in person right now. Let me get a mirror and really look at it here. I mean, it looks fine. I'm not like blown away or anything. I do need to spot conceal, so I'm gonna use my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in my project pan. Oh. 
And then while that's sitting on my face, I will use my Sigma under eye color corrector. I'm gonna spray my face with my Rare Beauty Mist and then pat in that NARS concealer with my Sigma F64. Okay, now I'm gonna try out that Rare Beauty liquid highlighter before I do my other cream products. So again, the shade is Enlighten. I'm gonna go right here. I like the shape of this applicator a lot. Okay, that actually looks really pretty on top of that tinted moisturizer. Do you see that glow? I like that. All right, now for cream bronzer, I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution one in light. weird to me how this bronzer has like a fruity smell to it not what I would expect from a cream bronzer you know so you'll see I like to apply it with the brush first and then just smooth over everything with my sponge. And then for cream blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Nude Kiss blush that I picked out. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Such a good, like, just everyday blush color. I love this. Now for under eye concealer, I'm gonna use my Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever. I'm excited to be using this one again because I do love this one. I'm gonna let this sit under my eyes for just a second and I am gonna use the Hourglass Translucent Powder to set it, which I'm really nervous about because I talked about this in the recent video, but I feel like some translucent powders aren't really translucent. Like they kind of change the color of your concealer or foundation or whatever. So I'm gonna try this under my eyes with the concealer and we'll see if this changes the color or anything. I'm nervous. Like this powder could make or break the whole look. I'm gonna blend out that concealer. I'm also just gonna bring it onto my eyelid. And then before I set anything, I will add just a little more blush. Kind of where it got blended away right here. All right, Hourglass, let's do this. Also just random, I don't love the shape of this because I like to use the lid of my loose powder to like work the powder into my brush. And you can't really do that with this interesting shape in here. Okay, I'm gonna take my F35 and I guess I'm gonna try to swirl it in here. This is what I normally do with my e.l.f. powder with my RCMA one. I'm just gonna go in, just go in. Everything's fine, don't panic. I think we're good. We are safe to use under the eyes with a pale concealer. I still feel like though it's not like fully set. Like I can still see like the glowiness of the concealer, which I'm not mad about. I kind of want to try the other eye with my e.l.f. Halo Glow because I've just been obsessed with this. I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Let's see if there's a difference. That's what these videos are for, right? For funsies. Right. Using my e.l.f. powder. straight up can you see how like this side still looks glowy but this side doesn't which is interesting because it is called the elf halo glow powder but does it really have a glow to it i'm not surprised but i do prefer how the elf side looks i'm gonna try to add a little bit more of the hourglass maybe because i feel like it didn't like fully set right in this area it's not much of a difference like you probably can't tell on camera but that's what that looks like. Sometimes you just gotta test your powders for science. Now I'm setting my face with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This powder lives permanently in my makeup drawers. I'm honestly pretty happy with how my skin looks right now, which I'm kind of surprised because I thought I didn't like that Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, but I think it looks pretty good. All right, now let's go in with the House Labs Velvet Bronzer in Light 2. I wanna do a quick swatch of this really quick. Oh, it really does feel smooth. 
it honestly feels velvety. That's a very nice texture. Okay, I think this will work and I am pale today, so perfect. I'm gonna use my Sigma F12. I'm gonna start on my forehead actually. I feel like it's always safer to start on your forehead than your cheekbones to like see what the color looks like. This is the only house lab product I have from their like whole new launch at Sephora. Like I don't have the foundation or anything. This is it. This color is nice. We'll bring some of this down my neck though, just to blend a little bit. All right, now for blush, I picked out the Sigma Blush in Berry Love. Very pretty matte color. Let's do a little swatch of this too. Oh, I think that would be a nice little pinky shade. So I'm gonna use that same brush I was just using. very pigmented, but I actually really like this color. I think for a while I was just scared to use this blush because it looks really dark in the pan, doesn't it? The other day I was wearing a new foundation and I asked my boyfriend, I was like, what do you think of my foundation? And he's like, I can't tell because you're wearing so much blush all over your face. And I was like, damn, why do you attack me like that? <laughs> I like this blush color, cute. I am going to kind of blend around my blush a little bit though. So I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio for this. This is another product that lives permanently in my collection. So I'm gonna take this shade right here on another F35. And this I'm using around the edges of my blush. Just to soften it like under my eye right here. It's also gonna give a little bit of a glow to this blush since it is a matte blush. Okay, I know I didn't pick out a new highlighter, but I've been using this Sigma one in Twilight. That's kind of a fun like pinky shade. And I think this will look good with the Berry Love blush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, just kind of right here on my cheek. I'm kind of going on like the top of my cheek right here, like the point of the apple of my cheek, if you will. Just because this has like a little bit of a pink tint to it, I think it's kind of pretty like that. And then I will just pat over with my sponge. All right, let's do a quick eye look with these products I picked out. So I didn't really prime my eyes, but I do have some concealer on my eyelids. So I'm just going to call that good just because I'm not doing like a crazy, super colorful look or anything. I'm just using like matte shadows. So again, this trio is called Velvet Dream. I'm actually going to take this top shade on a Sigma E35. And I'm just going to run that across like my entire eyelid and in my crease kind of sloppily. This is like a skin tone colored eyeshadow. So this is kind of perfect since I didn't really prime my eyes. It is showing up a little bit on my skin. Now I'm gonna take the second shade on the same brush and I am gonna be a little more precise with this shade in my crease. Well, it kind of has like a little bit of a pink salmon-y undertone to it. And then I'm also lightly packing that on the outer part of my lid, blending it into my crease. This is kind of what I do for an everyday eyeshadow look. I just use like one fluffy brush and I can do a whole look with this. I also use my bronzer for this step a lot too, if I don't feel like going into a palette or anything. Okay, I like that shade in the crease a lot. I like the pink undertone in it. Now I'm gonna take that Urban Decay Space Cowboy Moon Dust Shadow, and that's gonna go like all over my inner lid. This is such a fun eyeshadow that you can wear with like literally any look. If you just wanna add any kind of sparkle to it, it's so gorgeous. These Moon Dust Shadows are beautiful. I only own this one. As much as I would want more shades, I just know that I don't really grab for single shadows a lot. How pretty is this? Didn't they used to have like a moon dust palette? Should bring that back. I'd buy that. Going back to my E35 and just softly blending in the crease. I am gonna switch to a Sigma E30 and take more of that medium tone shade. Just kind of run that across my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this deeper shade and just kind of smudge that along the outer part of my top lash line. The shade is like very, very warm. And then we'll bring a little bit right out here, why not? I'm gonna take that Sigma highlighter and pop that in my inner corner. 
All right, here is my super simple eyeshadow look. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara. All right, I just popped on some mascara on my top lashes. I'm wearing the Lawless mascara. I haven't used this much, so I wanted to use it today. See how I feel about it. I feel like it looks really good. I feel like the bristles were nice and like grippy. So I realized I didn't pick out any lip products. I honestly just kind of forgot, but I am working on a separate video right now where I am trying on every single lip product I own just to see the colors on and actually decide if I want to keep it or not. So that will be coming probably in the next few weeks or so. But for my lips today, I did just pop on my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. It's in my Project Pam. And then I only popped on this Makeup Revolution lip oil I just purchased. It's the Glaze Lip Oil with Cherry Seed Oil. And I didn't realize it it had cherry seed oil in it and I just don't really love the smell of cherry it does feel very good and just juicy and like smoothing on the lips so I like that all right then this is my full face using my new shop my stash items for the next four weeks I'm really excited to continue to use these products and really form my opinions on them like that hourglass powder kind of shocked me today even the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer so check back in in four weeks and I will give you my thoughts and opinions on the products I use today because I will continue to use them over the next month or so I really hope you guys enjoyed this style of video from me so let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.